From Newport on the levee, Fox 19 and the Cincinnati Bengals present Bengals Now. Sponsored by Wendy's, Jake Sweeney Chevrolet, Care Source, Shelf Genie, and Newport on the levee. Welcome, everybody, to another edition of Bengals Now here on Fox 19 Now. I am Joe Danham, and he is Jeremy Rao. And this is our best crowd so far of the season. It feels like winning might make a difference here in Cincinnati. I think a lot of people are excited about the Bengals coming off a win. Week 7 game against the Browns. The fans brought the juice, and we've got the juice once again. Yeah. Cam Taylor Britt. Let's bring him out. Cam, All come right. on with it. Cam Taylor Britt back for another episode of Bengals Now on Fox 19 Now. I do wonder if we need to start singing happy birthday to Cam oh, Taylor Britt. Yeah. He's got his cupcakes. Birthday boy. And he just had a birthday. Happy birthday. Welcome back. Glad to have you. We can have everybody sing happy birthday for you if you want. Y'all want to sing happy birthday? Y'all want to sing happy birthday to Cam? All right, let's do it real quick. Here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cam. Happy birthday to you. All right. Who they, who they, who they. Thank you, thank you. Cam, how old are you, man? I'm 25 years old. 25 years yeah. old. You're not old enough to feel the aches and pains the next day yet, are you? Yeah, I am. Oh, you feel him? Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. I forgot you play in the NFL. Yeah, okay. AFC North, baby. <laughs> so a guy in the NFL, okay, we get that. You're a star. You're a celebrity around town. Do you still get birthday presents? Somewhat, yes, I do, I do. Who got you a birthday present? Someone special. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I did get some clothes that I, I wanted. Okay. I, there's not much that I kind of need. Is that me? You're good. Oh, there's not much that I kind of need or yep. want, honestly, that I can't, you know, kind of do for myself. So the money gifts are over with. I don't get any money. Uh, <laughs> and my grandmother used to, but she just gives me hugs and kisses now, so that's it. <laughs> Anybody get you a cake? Well, we got cupcakes. Yeah, I got, yeah, for I camp, so there we go. Cupcakes. See, yeah. your fans take care of you, man. Yes, they do. <laughs> I just got to say, I mean, one of the best birthday gifts to you has got to be winning in prime time. Sunday night football, you guys beat the Giants. Yes, yes, and yes, yes. Cam, Cam, don't lie, man. Don't lie. You, you've heard the talk about the defense all year long. You have come to these shows regardless of that, put your face out there. And now the defense is starting to find its groove. You're coming off a great game against the Giants. How much did you guys need that as a defense to spin things the right way? Honestly, I feel like it was needed uh, from the beginning to the end of the game. Uh, we stepped up and kind of just played our role throughout the game. Uh, kind of kept the points off the board for the offense. They didn't get a roll on how we you know, expected them to go. Uh, put up you know, uh, big numbers. Uh, so you know, we had to maintain the game. And uh, that's what we did and got, came out with a win. The funny thing is, and he and I have been around professional athletes for a long time doing our job, the one thing professional athletes do not lack is confidence. You can't get to where you are in this league without a lot of confidence in yourself. But at the same time, is a performance like Sunday night, is a game like you guys had against the Giants, can that help with the overall defensive confidence that we do have the right guys in the room. We do have the right players to go out and make the kind of run we expect to make. Yeah, most definitely, man. We know what we have in the room. I think everybody knows what we have in the room, and this, it was just a little off. Um, we found our stride. You know, we don't want to you know, push the narrative of anything, but it's one game at a time, and we're going to go out there, you know, lay, our, uh, you know, lay, lay it all on the line, yeah. you know, on Sunday. How about a round of applause, guys, for the birthday boy? Thank you, thank you, Cam Taylor Britt, everyone. <laughs> Let's go back inside Paycor Stadium, talk with Zach Taylor about this week. We always finish these conversations with Zach's favorite things. I want to start this one with your favorite thing. What is your favorite part of celebrating a road win in the NFL? Just the guys in the locker room immediately after the game. Um, it's always been a long week, a lot of travel. You go on the road, you're in enemy territory. And so to get in the locker room for the first time and high five and chest bump and fist bump and um, all that stuff is usually good. And then I like going in my office after the game, just taking a deep breath, you know, putting it all behind you, just alone by myself, look at the text messages from my wife and 
and uh, just take a deep breath and exhale and get ready for the next week. We know how much attention there's been on your defense here the last couple of weeks. You said in your press conference on Monday that we've known the truth of what they're capable of. What do you think that truth is and what did it show on Sunday night in New York? I think we're finally getting back healthy. I think we've played some of the most dynamic offenses in this league that a lot of teams are finding out. We didn't play our best in those moments, so there's really no excuse for that, but we knew what we were capable of. And so um, just needed a chance to get our feet underneath us, get a performance like that. This team's always had confidence in our defense, and so now that defense, uh, that, that confidence has really paid off for us in the last week, and we just got to continue to build on that. Cleveland has had your number, so to speak, especially up there. How important is this game? Yeah, this game has great significance. Not only to get us to three and four, not only to get us our first divisional win, um, but it's big. We need this against these guys. You know, you're right. They've, they've gotten the better of us over the last couple of years. And um, so again, our, our guys are going to be fired up. We got to have a great week of practice. Everyone's bought in. This is, a, this is a really good football team. I don't care what their record says. We know we've watched the tape. We know what they're capable of. Uh, we're going to get their best, and, and they're going to get ours as well. It's two and four. It's not where you want to be, but do you feel good about this group and where you are right now? I do. We're, we're heading the right direction. A lot of confidence in our guys. Um, we just have to take it one game at a time. You know the show. we got a long way to go here on Bengals Now. A special guest joining us next with Cam Taylor Britt right here with a big game coming up on Sunday for the Bengals. Stay with us. And welcome back to Bengals Now here on Fox 19 Now, the flagship TV station of the Cincinnati Bengals. You hear that noise because we have another guest making his way towards the stage, a first-timer here on Bengals Now. Bengals second-year safety, Jordan Battle making his way to the stage. Look, he understood the assignment. He knows to bring guy? the juice. Hey, we got Jordan Battle Hello, joining man. the ship. It's Battleship hey, time, baby. He's already dancing. Come on, look, we, we heard we Jordan Battle can dance, so we're about to see it, I think. Okay, I think we're going to see the right, hand go. Hey. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I wish you guys would show a little personality up here on stage. Now, Cam's like, I got, I got you. Okay, got you, Jordan, man. welcome. Thanks for coming. Uh, we heard that you're one heck of a dancer. Is this accurate that you're a very good dancer? I mean, I think the film speaks for itself. <laughs> <laughs> Just look up Jordan Battle Dancing and you'll see it. Is that on or YouTube? Or go on my TikTok. On his oh, TikTok. Oh, yeah. Hey, okay. hey, way to plug, man. I just got to say, we were talking about getting a pick on Deshaun Watson this week with Cam because there's a certain, like, weird bet we have on the line with Joe wearing overalls and no True. undershirt. It's a PG show, though. I'll stop there. Yeah. Uh, but, dude, seriously, like, I need to see you dancing in the end zone. I need an interception out of you. Can you do it? Hey. Do you think about, like, with, the, you got to hey, plan this. With God, anything is possible. There you go. Okay. Hey, I like that. I like it. Now, to follow up him, and that does deserve a round of applause, do you guys have celebrations ready in case the big moment happens? He's like, come on, man. No, nah, actually, we – so that's the plan originally. You know, we, we try to work something out. But we don't have a lot of uh, coordinated people. <laughs> so it, it's kind of difficult for certain, you know, movements to do. So do you do all of the viral TikTok dances or are you making your own stuff? I think most of the time it's like the things that go viral, but it's usually easy for me because a lot of dances come from Florida. Ah, and I'm from Florida. Right. So when I see the dance, I'm like, oh, this is easy. I can do this. <laughs> you know, so once it go viral, I'm like, oh, they're going to see me dance now. Can we but, I, but I also can make my own. But I've been okay. thinking on that. Uh -huh. I've, been trying to, I've been trying to come up with like a viral TikTok dance, but I don't have like an idea. I need you guys to help me. Okay, well, well I need you guys working on to help it. Me I think everybody here could probably help with that <laughs> yeah. too. I, uh, I, I don't want to put you on the spot, man, but like, is there one that you have that you like that you can do right here? Can you, can you? Oh, little, man. Little I, I know, oh, like, look, hey. Man. Uh, yeah, you got some music? Go viral, we do have season. some music now. We, it has to be. Nah, nah, we can nah. help you go viral. I, I don't have like a million followers. I've got some. He's got more than I do on Twitter, at least. But <laughs> we could do something with it, right? For sure. You, what do you got, man? Okay, yeah. see, look, you got to love a man who's willing to do it. Okay, so here we go. I love it. He's, He's looking at me like, pockets. I don't know, man. He's going to get gonna, something going. You need some music or are you just going to bust it out? Okay. Acapella. 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 All right. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's a little okay. salsa in that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there was a little no, salsa wait a minute, man. man. You like went that. for it. That's yeah. outstanding. Yeah. By the way, we wow. also heard that you're one heck of a comedian. Is this true? 
Yeah, I try to do it all, you know. I try to be great in every aspect of life. I try to be great in every aspect of life. So, you know, when people describe me and describe my legacy when I'm no longer here, they can say uh, he was just an all-around great guy, made people laugh, made people smile, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, he gave us all every day. We got to get to Reagan Holgate and Reagan's Rapid Fire, one of our favorite segments on this show. Let's go to Reagan right now inside Paycor Stadium. Rapid Fire Questions. Favorite movie? Uh, Planet of the Apes. Any hobbies outside of football, obviously? Uh, gaming, Call of Duty, Madden, NCAA. Favorite food? Uh, chicken. <laughs> Favorite candy? Um, gummy worms, Albanese gummy worms. I've never heard of that place. They're really good. I mean, you find them at like uh, any grocery, I mean, like corner stores, really. Okay. Like gas stations. <laughs> Favorite flavor of ice cream? Uh, cookies and cream. Your favorite subject in school? Oh, math. I love numbers. Amazing. Love them. What is one job you would be terrible at? Terrible at? Probably your job. Ask a few questions. That's fantastic. <laughs> What's one word the guys in the locker room would use to describe you? Uh, probably goofy, silly. Favorite holiday? Uh, Christmas. Favorite Christmas movie? This one always stumps people. Uh, probably, uh, let's say, um, I could go to Grinch. It's a good one. It's a great one. If you could win an Olympic medal in any sport, what sport would it be? I track and field. What's your favorite thing about Cincinnati? Favorite thing about Cincinnati? Um, I know y'all go to the Skyline Chili. How about that? No way. <laughs> no, You're I, lying to us. No, I am, but uh, probably just uh, being as close as home to, as I am to my family. they able to get out here all the time, so it's cool. And back on stage here with Cam Taylor Britt and Jordan Battle and Jeremy Rowell. Let's go now to Gabby Sorrentino on the green. Ask me anything. Take it away, Gabby. All right, guys. Aiden and Jaden, they come to Bengals now every single week. And uh, you got another question today. What were your guys' sports idols growing up? Ooh, good question. Sports idols growing up. My, my sports idol growing up was Ed Reed. Ooh. Safety, used to play for the Baltimore Ravens. What's your best pickup line? Whoa! Oh! Oh! <laughs> well, well, well. Let me tell you, let me tell you. He's got to lean back. This how you, you just got to sit like this, right? <laughs> yeah. Some advice. He said, excuse me, miss, what's your name? And then, you know. You got to figure out the rest. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you know. That's a song lyric. <laughs> yeah, yeah you know. I got you. Yeah, yeah, you know. So. <laughs> right, Is it my turn? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Look, you look in her eyes and you say, your beauty is so timeless. And that's all you say. That's all it takes. <laughs> I, think, I think he has a follow-up. Yeah. <laughs> How often does that work? <laughs> you know, let me give you a tip. You miss 100% of the shots that you, you don't, don't take. take. Yeah, <laughs> round so, of applause. So you, That's so you at least have shoot. a 50% chance <laughs> to get a yes, yes or a no. The worst you can say is no. <laughs> round of applause for Ask Me Anything and Cam and Jordan to pick up lines. Absolute gold. New game all about Cincinnati is next when we continue Bengals now here on the Bengals flagship station. Welcome back to Bengals now for our third segment, and you can see we are ready for our game all about Cincinnati. These guys got their backs to each other. Uh, Joe, really quick, how does this game work? Very simple. We ask them questions about their new city, and they write down the answers. Yeah. They have their backs turned to each other so they can't <laughs> cheat off of each other. But who knows their new city better? They'll write down the answers, and we'll keep track of who does best. You all ready? They're okay, ready. They here we no go. Mic. They're ready. First question, number one. Do you know the number of the person you're sitting on stage with? So, Cam, what is Jordan's number? Jordan, what is Cam's number? Jersey number, not phone number, right? Jersey number. Okay. Correct. Jersey number. Okay, do you know the jersey number of Jordan? <laughs> <laughs> Can you he show us? What do you no. got? Show so, Can, Jordan's got it. He held up 29. What do you got here? All right, go ahead and turn it to that camera right there. The camera yep, 27. Right 27. Nailed it, yes. okay. They each have one. Okay. We're right off the bat with a winner. One All to right, one. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, what is the name of the Reds Stadium? Cam's uh, got Red, Red Stadium. Stadium. You know what? He's not wrong. 
Except, he's not wrong. Except he is Jordan's wrong. riding a lot. Jordan, what do you got over here? You Let us know when you're ready. Great, Great American, American ball ball All right. Two to one, yeah. Jordan. Battle. Okay. What colors are the uniform of Cincinnati's soccer team? Three colors. Okay. It's right here in the room, by the way. There's someone wearing a shirt. No, it's but just we just two. need the two main colors. It's just two. My bad. Just two. Two main colors. Yeah, he, I, I, I mess came up, so you're good. You you're got good. to pull the sword out. You're good. There, yes, didn't he you? did. You know. Orange and blue Bang. and white still Bang. works as well. Bang. They both got yeah, it. They, they got all got three it. colors. So I almost messed them up. We've got three, two, Jordan okay. after three questions. Next one. Who plays shortstop for the Cincinnati Reds? Go ahead. Cam's, Cam's got on Ellie. the board. Yep. Cam's on the board. Oh, oh no! Okay. Jordan Battle says Spencer no. Steer. No, Ellie. Yeah, he, he plays, plays all over. Base, he plays all field. over. Three to three. three, to three. Ellie De La Cruz. Cam Taylor Brett. Yeah, make some noise for them, man. See, Cam thinks we're okie doking in, man. We're not. Yeah, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're trying to set it up for Cam to win. All right. There are three colorful bridges that connect Cincinnati to Kentucky. There's more than three bridges, but there are three colorful ones. How many of those bridges can you name? For each one, you get a point. Oh, wow. Yeah. One is a suspension bridge, real famous bridge. Oh, yes, that's right. That's not the gray one, though. <laughs> Yo, you got two of them. Okay. Okay, Jordan's got blue, brown, and white. Okay, and Cam's got yellow and blue. So Cam gets two, Jordan gets one. Five to four, Cam. What is the nickname for the state of Ohio? You nailed it. You pulled that one out and you got it right. Don't man. say it, I don't want Jordan nowhere. to know. Yep, Cam's got it, but don't give it Cam's away got yet because Jordan's still working. Yeah, yep, yeah, that was your hint. Bang, All right, Jordan got it. it. Uh, seven to six, right? Okay, seven with to six cam. Two questions left. Okay. What's the tallest building in Cincinnati? Somebody said it's great. Okay, Jordan's in the bank. He's got it. Write down something. That's the second we've got in the bank. Okay. All right. Jordan's got it. The Great Jordan American Jordan, Building. Jordan, yes. Jordan. Great American Building. Great American Building. So it's tied. We are tied. Seven to seven going seven to the to final seven. one. Last question. You remember what it is? Yes, I do. It's, it's, it's the Bengals fight song. Okay. We need to pick a certain spot of the song here to help them out. So we can have the whole crowd sing it, and I'll okay. tell you when to stop, okay? Okay. Here they come a prowling, mean and angry. There it is. Lean and hungry, run past her boots, and defensively he's rough, tough. I messed it up. Cincinnati Bengals, that's, that's the, the team, team we're going. To... <laughs> that's going. the team, and you have to finish it off there. Oh, Cam has got it. Wait, but hold on. Boom! That's Nailed the team it. we're gonna blank. He's got the whole song over there. Okay, so Cam's got the winning. Cam's got it. What is Jordan? They both they got both it, got everybody. It. How right. about that? That's pretty darn good. I'm impressed. All right, I'm and because Cam Taylor Britt is faster, he wins the tiebreaker. Okay. See, That's Cam, we got you, man. All right. How about Cam and Jordan, all about Cincinnati? <laughs> we have one final segment on Bengals now. Oh, man. The rivalry game setting up in Papa Shot. Cam against one lucky fan. It is on next on Bengals Now. All right, we are on the green now here on Bengals Now. Final segment, and man, this is a rivalry game. Not just Bengals and Browns, but apparently Cam Taylor Britt and Blaine is going to be a rivalry game on Papa Shot. All right, so real quick, once upon a time, they played in pool, and Blaine was like, I'm not very good, then destroyed Cam, apparently. So Shark. Cam remembers Blaine, and now they're going to go head-to-head -head and pop a shot. Noah, will you get us started? We are ready to roll. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. He said, hey, wait. Okay, so Jordan Battle has a microphone. Here we here. go. Jordan, you had a chance to go against Blaine. 
How Blaine tough is, is up kid? six to two. Blaine, Blaine is he's pretty tough because he cheats. I mean, anybody who cheats to win is a tough. To <laughs> beat, Fifteen you know seconds. Blaine is up 14-10. That's like Tom Brady with the deflate game. All right, Cam's on Ten the comeback. Ten seconds. Oh, he's oh, boxing out. Boxing out. Good. Whoa! Oh, a little fade away. Twenty-one seventeen. Five seconds. Oh, oh he made one of his baskets. Thirty to twenty-six. How oh, did time get reset, back? It reset. It reset. Keep playing. It reset. Time Keep reset. playing. Keep playing. It reset. Oh, there's extra time. Oh they my have God. Blaine has the lead. 34 26, Blaine. Blaine has the lead. Three, two. Oh, no. They're not one. counting his buckets. Time. Oh, my. 37 gosh. to 26, Blaine. Man, Blaine. Look at you him. Know, he's telling him he's 2 0. 2 0. Hey, raise hey. the hand. Raise the hand hey. for the champ here. Real quick. There it Blaine. is. There's Real the champ. Quick. Real quick. How does it feel to beat Cam Taylor Britt again? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> he cheated. This dude's a killer, man. Everybody All make right. noise for Cam Taylor Britt and Jordan Battle cheated. being on Bengals now this week. Cheated. Bengals and Browns on Sunday. Make noise. And the Bengals are going to win a second straight. We will see you next week. Bengals now on the Bengals flagship station.